hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video we will be seeing about some apis that we have used in pre-order management app this is the orders page and we are having some orders over here each orders have some actions individually and we can apply this actions on bulk orders as well firstly in this video we will be covering the apis that will perform this actions on the individual orders so first one is the release action and during the release order we are calling the release order item api and let's see what attributes or payload we can provide to call this api first one is the order id and it contains the unique id of the order in oms after that we are having order item sequence id this attribute contains the item id of order the first order id was unique id and this is that is item order sequence id is item id of order after this we can also provide ship group sequence id this attribute contains the unique id of ship group in oms it's not a required parameter so we haven't passed over here but we can pass is uh, it if we want after that we are having from facility id this attribute contains the unique id of from facility in oms from which item is released then we are having to facility this attribute contains the unique id of to facility in oms to which item is released after that we are having change reason enum id and this attribute contains the reason of releasing the item except predefined values in the system so this attribute accepts predefined values in the system here we have used a predefined value released over here then we can also pass router user login over here and uh, router user login is basically the attribute and it contains the value of user login id this is the endpoint and i have passed this uh, attribute as payload over here and in response i am getting this information next we are having a edit promise date action and as i am updating the promise date i am using update order item uh, that is used to update the record of the order item so here i want to update the promise date so i have used the update order item over uh, api over here so the required parameters over here are order id and order item sequence id over here and i have provided the promise date that i want to get updated so i have provided that promise date also over here and as uh, we can see the response is like this the promise date that we have provided is updated and we are also getting a, a successful message over here after this we are having another action that is cancel order if we want any order to get cancelled from the queue then we can use cancel order item api for this to cancel the order we have uh, provided the order item and order item sequence id and in response we are getting this ids only and the order will get automatically cancelled so this is the way we have performed some release update and cancel actions individually on an order the next video will contain how we can perform these actions on bulk orders so hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.